Hello and welcome back children. This is Mr. Muzaffar presenting before you the sixth topic of your own video reader. The name of the topic is Who I Am. My dear children, this lesson speaks about the diversity. This lesson speaks about the diversity. This lesson tells that everyone has something special in him or her. Everyone is having special in him or her. Everyone is unique in their own way. Everyone is unique in their own way. Diversity, my dear children. Uh, let me give you the example of your class sixth. You are 32 students in the class, my dear children. And you are not same. You all are not same. You are different. You are diverse. You are diverse in language. You are diverse in everything. You have a you have you know some uh, someone among you is efficient. Some among someone among you is average. Some among, someone among you is fatty. Someone among you is thin. Someone among you is small. This is diversity. This is diversity. This is diversity. Go here in this chapter. You will see the uniqueness. If you, you are 32 students in the class, you all have your own. You all have. You all have uh, uniqueness. You all have uniqueness. You all have goodness in you. My dear children, someone among you is good in art. Someone among you is good in language. Someone. Uh, you, someone uh, among you is good in, you know, calligraphy. Someone among you is good in, you know, someone among you is uh, good in dancing. Someone among you is good in music. So everyone among you is having uh, unique qualities. You all have unique qualities. Your qualities are not equal. Your qualities are not sim uh, similar, my dear children. This is diversity. Here in the class, you will uh, you will observe diversity. You will observe diversity. You know, diversity. There, this you know, um, there are six different uh, you know people whose uniqueness has been shared in this lesson. Five people's name has been mentioned in this you know in this lesson. How many uh, people? Five people's you know uniqueness has been mentioned in this lesson. And name of those five people are it is Radha. It is Radha, my dear children. Second, it is Nasir. Second, it is Nasir. Third one, it is Rohit. And fourth one, it is, uh, you know, uh, it is Sarbhajit. It is Sarbhajit. And then it is Dolma. Then it is Dolma and Peter, my dear children. So, uh, here in this chapter, you will see, uh, you will, uh, I will teach you about six students. I will teach you about six people. They all have uniqueness. They all have uniqueness. Some was, someone was good in climbing. Someone was good in business. Someone was good in, you know, good in education. So you will observe uh, your diversity here uh, in, in all those uh, six, uh, you know, people whom I am going to discuss with you, my dear children. Let me tell you about Radha. Let me tell you about Radha. Radha. My favorite activity is climbing trees. Her favorite activity. What was her favorite activity? Climbing trees. As I have discussed with you. She was good in climbing. She was good in climbing. Just outside our house. There is a mango tree. Outside their house. What was there? There was a mango tree. Which I love to go. Which I love to go up. Achha, its branches super out. Its branches super out. So it is simple to climb up the tree. It is branches super out. So it was not difficult for uh, Radha to climb up, my dear children. Okay, my mother uh, tells me it is not sensible for trees. But one afternoon she climbed up too. She was telling me that this is not good to climb up trees. But one afternoon she, she too climbed up. She too climbed up. It is uh, Miss Radha, how about I am telling you, she had, a, she had a favorite activity. She had a favorite activity of climbing. They had a mango tree outside their house. She used to climb up every day, uh, every day. But one day, her mother told her, it is not good to climb, uh, climb, uh, on the, climb up. But uh, next day, she saw her mother, she also climbed, she also climbed up too. She also climbed up too. And both of us sat there. Both of us sat there, uh, sat there talking and eating raw mangoes. What they were doing? They were sitting on the branches of a mango tree. And they were eating raw mango trees. They were eating raw mango trees. When I am high up, 
when I am high up, uh, high up in the tree, I feel like I can run the whole world. Now, when I am uh, at the top of the tree, there I feel that I can run the whole world, my dear children. Now, let me tell you about the second child. It is Mr. Nasir. It is who is who is home about. I, I will tell you about. I will tell you about now, Mr. Nasir. When Nasir is telling, when I grow up, when I grow up. It's Mr. Nasir. When I grow up, I want to become a seed collector. He had ambition of becoming a sad, you know, seed collector. Seed collector. We have cotton fields. He is telling that they have cotton fields in their village. And everywhere, his father spends a lot of money on buying new seeds to grow, uh, or grow their cotton. To grow their cotton plants. His grandfather told him that many years ago, he called he could collect the seeds from his own plants, which could be sown to grow new plants during the next year. But today that does not work. So we have to spend money to buy new seeds every year, every single year. I want to find out why that is so. I want to find out why that is so. I want to learn how to preserve seeds so that we can use them again and not spend money everywhere my dear children very simple it is mr nasir he had ambition of becoming a sad seed collector he had a father his father used to buy seeds everywhere and uh, and uh, from the market and were spending a lot of money and was spending a lot of money and his grandfather told him one day that we did not uh, we, 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 we 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 had a we had our own cotton plants from those cotton plants we used to collect the seeds and then uh, then we were sowing it uh, but today that is not working but today that is that is not working so this is mr nasir thought that mr nasir thought that why should we spend money everywhere why should we spend money everywhere we should not spend money everywhere so he started preserving you know seeds at his home at his home and later later um, they did not later he did not buy seeds from the market thank you and have a good day my dear children if you have any query any uh, if you have any query my dear children please feel free to contact me or whatsapp me thank you have a good day